Ito ang set 6 explainer natin sa percentages. I've already made a bunch of videos sa percentages, pero since uh, marami pa rin ang magkakamali, I figured I should make an explainer again. Um, we are starting out with this, if you're watching this, around March 2017. The reason for that is para maging ready kayo for the August exam. And, uh, well, whether ma March nito panoorin or anytime, I really hope na makuha ninyo yung technique. But for you to be able to catch up, I recommend that you watch the videos already posted regarding percentages. There should be a pop-up sa upper right corner ng screen ninyo if you're watching this from YouTube. You can watch those videos to catch up kasi mas mahirap na itindihin itong video if you haven't seen the earlier ones. So watch those first and then come back and watch this video. Now, bakit siya explainer? Kasi every day, I try to post at least one question sa YouTube, uh, sa Facebook page ko, which is www.facebook.com slash teamlaika. And uh, this was something I posted, um, and uh, I noticed the comments section na marami pa rin ang nagkakamali dito sa tanong na ito. And that is the reason why I decided to make a video to explain kung paano mo ko yung tama sagot. Now, I already noticed that a bunch of you got it right na, but uh, we are not going to stop until ang majority ang makakatama. Okay? So, I really hope na maigihan nyo yung concept. Now, again, you can do it a number of ways. Let's start with the first question. Sabi what is 38% of 1460? Again, ang technique when it comes to percentages, if you write 38%, that is dalawang decimal, dalawang dot, at you start here. So that is 1, 2. So that is 0.38. Off means multiplication. So 0.38 times 1460. That is if you want to use the long cut. So 1460 times 38. 0.38, tapos mag-move ka ng mga decimal place, mag-multiply ka ng all of those things. But again, I recommend na mas madali ang mga ibang bagay, gaya ng uh, finding kung ano yung numbers that would make up yung 38% mo. In my case, dahil yung 38% ay 2% na lang away from 40, I use that. So, ang gagawin ko na lang would be 40% minus 2%. And bakit madali yung 40%? Kasi dalawang dalawang 20 lang yun, na apat na 10. And ang 10% is 1460. 10% niyan, you just move the decimal place one step right there. So, ang 10% mo, I equals a 146. So, kailangan lang natin ang apat nito. Okay? Uh, so, ang apat niyan would be, kung dalawa, it will be 292. Kung apat, ibig sabihin, dal, uh, dalawa pa nito, ito yung i-times 2 ito. It will give you 16 short of uh, 600. So, that is 584. Okay. And once you have that, that is your 40%. So, 584 minus 2%. And ang 2% is uh, yung 1% times 2. Ang 1% natin, kung ang 10% mo ay 146, ang 1% is move mo yung decimal place 1 point. So, that is 14.6. Times 2 nito is 29.2. If you notice, nag-move lang tayo ng decimal place again. Kasi itong 292 is 20%. So, ang 2%, move ka lang ng isang decimal place ulit. That is 29.2. Yung minus mo lang yung 29.2 dito, it should give you 554.8. Okay? Now, hindi na masyado malaking problema yun. As I look at your responses, most of you already got it right. 554.8. Okay. Again, hindi naman masyadong tricky yan. Lalo na if you already know the, the technique. You can multiply right here. You can use this. You can also put it together. 10% plus 10% plus 10% plus 5% plus 111. Whatever that is, basta mabuo nyo lang yung 38. Okay. So, that is just my method. So, again, it gives you the liberty to use other ways. If you're not confident with your multiplication skills, or if ayaw nyo lang to deal with decimals altogether. Next, what is 11% of 1460? This is even easier. So, you have 146, which is 10%, because you move latin decimal place isang beses, plus another 1%, which is 14.6, kasi nga, you move mo decimal place one point. So, it's going to give you 0 0.6 here, 0 here, it's going to give you 60, 160.6. Notice kung gano kabilis yung process, right? And actually, if you're taking the test, you can even do this mentally. Pag nandun na kayo sa point na yun, kasi 
uh, masasanay na kayo. So, that is why we're practicing really early on. So, again, 1 for 6 is 10%. Ang 1% is 14.6. So, you just put it together kasi ang 11 is 10 plus 1. And then you have the answer. Next one. 76% of 1460. Okay? So, again, if you haven't seen the question, you can hit pause and try it right now. Or if you already have and you want to check kung tama kayo, just wash along. Ang um, 76%. You can do it na 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 1 or 50% plus 25% plus 1%. Percent plus 1 percent. Now, I prefer this kasi mas malalaki yung chunks and mas madali siya i-manage. Kasi ang 50% is kalahate. 1, 4, 6, 0 divided by 2 is going to give you 730. 50% na agad yan. Ang 25%, kalahati ng 50 so, ikaw akalahati mo lang yung 730 mo. It's going to give you 365. 365 times 2 is 730. After nyan, yung 1% na lang ang problema natin. Yung 1%, you can uh, do it na, again, move mo lang yung decimal place dalawang beses. It's going to give you 14.6. This should give you 0. 0.6 and then 9. This is 10. So, this is 11. 1109.8. Six. That is how fast that is. Again, kung ginawa nyo to, okay lang din. It's going to give you 365, tatlong 365, and then 14.6. It's still going to be the same. So, what we're doing here is giving you freedom to do whatever is easier for you. Uh, next, we have what is 50% of 25% of 1460. Again, what I want to do usually dito is I just Start with this, yung nakadikit na doon sa malaking number. So, 25% daw ng 1460. Ang 25% ng 1460 ay kalahati ng kalahati. Ang 50% ay kalahati, which is 730. Nagpag-usapan natin kanina, kalahati ng 730. Ang hinahanap natin for 25%, that is 365. This is already yung itong part na to. Ang hinahanap is what is 50% of this. So, ibig sabihin, ito, imumultiply mo pa siya sa... 50% or kakalahatiin mo siya, it's going to give you 182.5. Okay? And then that is the answer. I noticed again, some of you already got it right. May mga ibang naguluhan pa ng onte, Pero I know naman na masasanay din kayo. It is yung last question which is this. Dito na nagkaiba-iba ng mga decimal places ang mga tao. I cannot emphasize this enough. Ang one-fourth of is different from one fourth percent of. Bakit? Kasi yung percent na yan changes everything. Ang one fourth of is, ang, dahil ang one fourth is equal to 0.25, yan na yun. So, 0.25 of a number. Pero ang one fourth percent, dahil meron pa siyang percent, yung 0.25 mo, ipipercent mo pa siya. Okay? Ibig sabihin, imove mo pa siya uli dalawang beses. One, two. So, this should be 0 0.0025 or 1 fourth ng 1. Ngayon, what's the best way for you to answer this? You must start out with this part, okay? 80%. And since we already answered yung 75% kanina or 76 kanina, pinilikan lang natin, na lang natin, pwede naman yun. So, ang, ang, ang 50% mo is 730, okay? 50% 730. Ang 25% that is half of this, which is 365. That is 75% agad. Okay? Ang hinahanap mo na lang yung nawawalang 5%. So, ang 5% ay kalahati ng 10%. Ang 10% natin is 1460. Okay? Move mo yung decimal place ng isang beses. So, ang 10% is 146. Para makuha mo yung 5%, kalahati niyan, which is 73 or better yet, dahil ang 50%, nagsisimula naman din sa 5, you just move it one decimal place pa ganon, 73 din siya. Okay? I just wanted you to see that. Okay? That is why it's very easy to use this method. Ngayon, anong ibig sabihin nito? Ang last digit niya ay 8. It's going to give you 16. This is going to give you 11. So, 1168 ang 80%. Ngayon, dito na tayo sa mas mahirap na part. What is one fourth percent of this? Ayan, you can do it a number of ways. Again, you can multiply this by 0 0.0025. Okay, and solve it that way. Or what I do is this. 
Ang 1168, okay? Kung 1% ang pinag-uusapan, okay? Ang 1% niya is you move the decimal place twice. So 1 2. Ang 1% ay 11.68. Ang hinahanap natin is 1/4%. Ibig sabihin, i-divide mo pa siya by 4. So you can do it that way then. 11.68 divided by 4. Or, again, you can do it this way. Ang 25% na pag-usapan na natin kanina is 365. Okay? Yan yung ginawa natin doon to get your uh, 25% na 1460. Now, operating doon sa same concept na yan, magsisiwala tayo sa 1168. Ang 1168, ang 50% niya ay kalahate, which is going to give you 5, 8, 4. Okay? Ngayon, yung uh, 584 na yan, okay, na pinagsama-sama natin to form yung 50%, to get the 25% of that, nung 1168 natin, i-divide mo lang ito agad ulit sa 2. So, that's going to give you 292. Okay? So, 292 times 2 is 584. Ngayon, bakit ko kinuha yung 25%? Kasi ang hinahanap natin is 0.25, okay, 0.0025%, uh, 25 of a number, or uh, one f or 0.25%. So, sabi natin 0.25%, ibig sabihin, imove lang natin yung decimal place para maging 0.25 yung 25, imove mo yung decimal place 1, 2, 2 steps, okay, para makarating ka sa, 20, sa 0.25. The same exact thing you're going to do here. So, you move it 1, 2. So, the answer is 2.92. Again, kung minultiply nyo ng ganito, 2.92 rin ang makukuha ninyo. Kung anong gusto nyo gawin, makukuha nyo pa rin yung same answer. But, bakit ko ginawa, minove ko na lang yung decimal place ng 25%? Kasi it's easier for me, it's faster. Kasi makakocompute ko yun ng madali mentally. Ngayon, bakit minove ko dalawang beses? Kasi again, ang hinahanap natin is 0.25%. Kanina, di ba, yung ginawa natin sa 10, di ba, sa 10%, ang 10% ko nangyari is 1, 4, 6. To get yung 1%, mumove mo lang yung decimal place kasi dyan, ang 1% niya becomes, uh, becomes 14.6. Ibig sabihin, ang 0.1% niya is i-move mo ulit yung decimal place isang beses, it's going to give you 1.46. Again, all of these things, pwede kang mamili ko anong pinakamadali sa inyo. Okay? So again, I'm posting more and more of these. So if you want to know as soon as it posts, you can click subscribe. You can click here then to see a playlist of all the videos already posted. Catch up and watch all of the math for math lessons that I already posted. And I hope that you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up, share this with your friends na mag exam din. And uh, you can always reach out to me through my Facebook page or through this YouTube channel. Post a comment below if you want to request anything. God bless guys and I'll see you on my next video.